Hello friends, what's up? Welcome to the world of maths by MEA. Let's continue with the ratio equal to concept video. We have a by 3 equal to b by 4 equal to c by 5 equal to a plus b minus c upon x. Find value of x. The one of the basic method of this, we take a by 3 is equal to b by 4 is equal to c by 5 is equal to k. So our a is equal to 3k, b is equal to 4k, c is equal to 5k. And we put these values in our condition a plus b minus c that is nothing but 3k plus 4k minus 5k upon x is nothing but k because these ratios equal to k and this is equal to k. So we can say 2k upon x is equal to k, k, k cancel out x is nothing but 2. So this is the one of the most basic concept and the method of solving these questions. But what is the shortcut behind all these? Ratio equal to if we have all the ratios are equal and looking for a plus b minus c. If you do anything in the numerator, we do the same thing in a numerator ratio does not change. This is our concept. If you do something in numerator, we do the same in a denominator. The ratio does not change what we have done a plus b minus c. So it's nothing but 3 plus 4 minus 5 is answer. 3 plus 4 minus 5 is the answer. That is nothing but 2. I hope this one is clear to you. For better understanding, let's practice with one more example. a upon 3 is equal to b upon 5 is equal to c upon 9 is equal to a plus 2b minus c upon x. Find the value of x. Your time starts now. I hope you have solved the question. Okay, so according to our concept, if we do a plus b minus c in the numerator, we have to do the same. a is nothing but 3 plus 2 into b is nothing but 2 into 5 minus c is minus 9. And this is our answer that is 13 minus 9 is 4. So x is nothing but 4. I hope this one is clear to you. Now practice with another question. a by 1 is equal to b by 2 is equal to c by 3 is equal to a plus b plus c upon x equal to a plus b plus 2c upon y find the value of x plus y here we have a plus b plus c means we have to do nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 so x is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 here we have a plus b plus 2c that is 1 plus 2 into 2 into 3 so y is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 2 into 3 that is nothing but 9. So our y is 9. So x plus y is nothing but 15. So this is our answer for x plus y. I hope this one is clear to you. Now solve these two questions for better practice. I would suggest pause the video and solve the questions. I hope you have solved the questions. For the question number 1, a by 3, b by 5, c by 6 is equal to a plus b minus c upon x. For x we need a plus b minus c that is nothing but 3 plus 5 minus 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. For the y, we need a plus b plus 2c. The corresponding values are 3, 5 and 6. For the y, we need 3 plus 5 plus 2 into 6. That is 8 plus 12 is nothing but 20. And y minus 6 is nothing but 20 minus 2 is 18. I hope this one is clear to you. We just use corresponding values with the respect of a, b, c. If we have many ratios are equal. Question number 2. We need to find a plus b plus c. So we want a, b and c here. Remove 2, make it 7 by 2. So divide 2 in numerator and 2 in denominator. That is a becomes 7 by 2. b is 2. So divide by 3, divide by 3. So c is nothing but 2 by 3. The ratio is a upon 7 by 2, b upon 2, c upon 2 by 3. And we need to find a plus b plus c. So the corresponding values of a, b, c are nothing but 7 by 2 plus 2 plus 2 by 3. LCM is 6, that is 21 plus 12 plus plus 4, which is nothing but 37 upon 6. This is the answer of second question. I hope this concept is clear to you. Let's move to another concept, ratio equal form 3. Let's take the last concept of ratio equal form, that is ratio equal form 3. We have just learned if ratios are equal, then same change in numerator affect the same change in denominator means if ratios are equal then same change in numerator affect the same change in denominator or we can say if we give the same change in numerator and the same change in numerator ratio would be equal ratio equal form 3 is nothing but the reverse of the
form 2 if I say a by b is equal to c by d is equal to e by f there are ratios equal to each other and value says 3 is to 4 and question would be like something 2a plus c plus 4e upon 2b plus d plus 4f is what you have ratio given and looking for another ratio can we see a c e b d f are the corresponding values 2a 2b c d 4e and 4f same change in numerator same change in denominator with the same values so this should be equal to this ratio so the values of this ratio is nothing but 3 upon 4 equal form 2 says if all equal same change in numerator effect the same change in numerator the reverse is also true if we give the same change in numerator and same change in denominator, our ratio would be equal to the given ratio. I hope this one is clear. A upon B upon C upon D say 1 by 2 then what is the value of 4A minus C upon 4B minus D. We again say that is 4A 4B minus C minus D change is the same. Same effect in numerator, same effect in denominator ratio would be the same to the previous one. So, instead of this one is 1 by 2. But with the given ratio, if they are looking for 4a plus c upon 4b minus d, what would be the value? Here the change is plus 4 plus 4 plus c minus d. Not the same change. If there is no same change, then answer is cannot be determined. This is as simple as a, b, c. If same change, then ratio would be same. Now check the extended form of ratio equal form 3. If we have a by b is equal to c by d is equal to e by f is equal to 1 by 2 then what would be the value or ratio of a square minus 2 c square plus e square upon b square minus 2 d square plus f square first check the change plus 1 plus 1 minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 means same change and check the power the power is square all the terms have the same power so answer it be 1 by 2 whole square that is 1 by 4 first check the change if the same change value should be the same just we have checked but if we have same power the values increase with the power if anything differs from our concept if power of terms are different answer is cannot be determined if change are different answer is cannot be determined so we can say a square minus c cube plus e square upon b square minus d cube f square is what we can say change is plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 but the change in the power is square 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 these two terms are having different power so answer is cannot be determined i hope this one is clear there are three questions in front of you i would suggest pause the video and solve these three questions within one minute i hope you have solved the questions now check we have ratios given equal to 1 by 4 and we need to find that is plus plus minus 3 minus 3 plus plus that is change is same root 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 same power so the answer is 1 by 4 root is nothing but 1 by 2 i hope this one is clear to you again same ratios are given equal to 1 by 8 that is plus 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 same change third root third root third root so the answer would be third root of 8 but again a square third root of 1 by 8 is nothing but 1 by 2 and of its square is 1 by 4 so the answer of this question is 1 by 4 now check the last question we have ratio given 3 3 plus 5 plus 5 4 and 1 the change is different so answer is cannot be determined i hope this one is clear to you so we discussed two equal forms of ratio i if you have any doubt i'd say revise the concept revise the concept video but if still you found there's some doubt or you need some clarity on these videos i would say you can ping me on this video thread or on facebook thank you and happy learning